Okay, yep, so just feel free to lie completely flat down on the mat. As you exhale through your nose, press that lower back down, engage your core. And as you inhale, just let everything kind of go natural. And we'll do about one more breath right here. And we're gonna start off just stretching out our arms a little bit, rolling out our shoulders. So just reach your arms up overhead and reach them out around towards your hips and then back up, just rolling them over. Not something over, sorry about that, that was loud. Nice reach and rotate around. We'll do one more in this direction and then reverse around up and reach down. We'll go for two. And one. And relax here. We're gonna start off the warm up with our knees in a tabletop position. So knees are bent at 90 degrees directly over your hips. We're gonna reach our arms up overhead again. And we're just gonna do a slow crunch up, reaching our arms over toward our hips and slowly lift our head, neck, and shoulders up for a little crunch and lower it down. Nice and slow here. You're gonna inhale on the way down and big exhale on the way up. We'll go for three and lower it down. Lift for two and lower. And one, we're gonna hold this one up at the top. And of course, 10 little pulses up, lifting from the chest for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, if you can hold it up here, do so. Move your arms back to behind your head. You can clasp your fingers behind your head. We're gonna bring our knees into our chest and stretch the legs out to 45 degrees. And in, and stretch it out. Still keeping that lift if we can. Sit in and out for three two and one this time keep your knees into your chest lower your head down take a nice quick breath Once you're ready, we're gonna take it right back up. Head, neck, and shoulders are coming back up off the mat. Hands can be behind your head or at your sides here, whatever feels better for you. 
and knees are together. We're gonna lower down with those feet about halfway down to the mat and lift them right back up. So it's not a huge motion here. Just we'll lower down halfway and lift it back up. See if you can keep that lower back pressed down into the mat. So keep your core engaged here. Lower down and lift. For three, two, and one. Knees into your chest, lower your head down. Next, we're going to leave one leg straight out and flat on the mat. The other one is gonna stretch up to the ceiling as straight as you can get your leg. Um, and so once it is up straight here, we're gonna get an external rotation on it. So basically that means it's gonna be straight out, but we're gonna just rotate it out. So if you're starting on your right leg, it's your right toes are gonna to be now pointing towards the right wall. This way we're working all different parts of the leg. So you can leave your head down or you can lift it up here, whichever feels better. Just keep that rotation. And the only thing moving is that leg, but it's gonna stay rotated the whole time. So other leg is flat down. We're just gonna slowly lower it down that and slowly lift it back up keeping that lower back flat and down on the mat i know it's a lot of things to think about take as much time as you need to here we'll go for four three Two, and one, and lift it up, bend that knee in, and stretch it out long on the mat. And then we're just gonna switch to the opposite leg. So bring it in, reach it up to the ceiling, as straight as you can get that leg, externally rotate it, and same thing, slowly lower it all the way down, and lift it up. Here I find it a little bit easier to keep my lower back down if my head is up. If you wanna give that a try, it's an easy way to keep your core engaged through this move. For four, and lift, three, two, And one, lift it all the way up and bring both knees into your chest for a nice little stretch here. We're gonna finish out our warm up with the 100. Um, so a few different options if you haven't done these, you can keep your knees in tabletop position. You can have them straight up or you can lower them down to 45 degrees. We're gonna lift our head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat, and our arms are gonna be hovering about four inches over the mat at our side. And start to pump your arms. And we'll breathe in for two, three, four, and breathe out for two, three, four. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale for two, three, four. And inhale and exhale we'll do three more breaths inhale and exhale for two three four two more inhale see if you can lift up a little bit higher and exhale and one more inhale for two three four and exhale for two three four lower your hands down bring your knees into your chest and slowly lower your head down Take a nice deep breath. Pull your knees into your chest, feel that nice stretch here. And you can roll around a little bit, massage your lower back. And we'll just take a minute before we move on to the next series.
So this next one here, once you're ready, we are gonna start off on our hands and knees. We'll move on into a little bit of cat and cow stretching. So you can have your palms down on the mat, wrists are directly beneath your shoulders, knees are down directly beneath your hips. And you can inhale as you sink down with your lower back. And exhale, round it over. And feel free to take as many of these as you need right here. Once you're ready, we're gonna lower down onto our elbows here. So elbows are down, hands can be flat down on the mat or you can have them clasped together, whichever feels better. Actually, this, for this move, we're gonna be using our hand. Um, so we're gonna stretch that right leg out, start off on the right. Right leg is gonna be stretched back and we're gonna extend our left arm out in front of us. So opposite arm to leg. And just get used to this motion, uh, to this position for a second. Catch your balance. And then we're going to bring them in. Elbow comes to knee, round your back over and stretch it out long. And bring it in and stretch. For three. Two, and one. Hold them both out here, flip your palm up, and tiny little lifts with the arm and leg up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower them both down. Take a breath here, and we're just gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, so left leg comes back straight, right arm goes out, take a second, catch your balance. And once you're ready, we're gonna bring them in, round your back over and stretch it out. And in, extend them long. For four, Three, two, and one. Extend it, flip the palm up, and little lift up for 10. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it all down. Take a nice quick breath here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up onto our right palm. So left elbow is staying down. Right palm is coming up off of the mat. We're gonna lift that right leg up again, out to the side here. So you're gonna open up the hips a little bit so that they're facing the right side of the room. We're gonna take that right arm and stretch it out long. And then we're gonna lower that leg down, lift it, and stretch that arm toward us. You're feeling this nice little oblique crunch as we lift that leg. So we're gonna lift and lower tap it down. Really have to pull that core in to stay stable here. So again, feel free to go at your own pace. For four, Three, two, and one. Lower them both down. We're gonna lower that arm back down to where it was. This is gonna get a little bit confusing here. We're gonna lift the left knee up into kind of a little side plank here. Leave the left foot down and we're gonna cross that right leg over. So now we have that Right foot is down out in front of us. We're gonna extend this right arm again. Lower your hips down so that they can tap the mat and lift your hips up, bring your arm over to meet your hips. So it's just a lower and lift. 
feels weird until you get the hang of it. Nice and slow here. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And lower it down. You can set up, roll your shoulders back, shake your arms out, whatever you need to do. And we're coming back to hands and knees, back to the basics. <laughs> Take a quick breath here. Um, still working on that right leg. We're just gonna lift that knee up, bring it out to the side. So we're gonna lift the knee up and out to the side about hip height. And we're just gonna circle it forward with the knee for 10. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse it. For four, three, two, one, bring that knee down. We're gonna lift it up, keep it at a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna extend it long here and bend, extend, and bend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it straight, little pulses up. For four, Three, two, one, hold it here, and tiny circles going to the right. For five, four, three, two, one, and reverse, last thing here. For four, three, two, and one, lower it down. Separate your knees out to the width of the mat and sink back into a nice child's pose here. Take a deep breath. And just take a second. We're just gonna flip around and do the same thing on the opposite leg. So now just working off of our left leg, we're going to do the same thing here where we're going to start off with our right elbow down, left arm is going to come up. So starting off with that left leg now, lift it up, open up the hips out so that they're facing out towards the left side of the room. Reach that left arm overhead, we're going to lower, tap that foot down, and lift it as we reach the arm over. Lower and lift. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower that hand down, lower the leg down, same as before. We're gonna lift that right knee up into kind of a side plank. Lift the left knee, cross it over in front, and bring that foot down over on the left. Reach that arm out. Lower the hips down just to about right over the mat. Lift it up and reach that arm over. Lower and lift. For five, four, three, Two and one, 
in, lift it up and lower everything down. Shake out those arms if you need to. And we're coming right back to hands and knees once you are ready. That's probably one of the, probably the toughest thing we'll do this morning. So that's over with. Not so bad, hopefully. <laughs> um, so now continuing on with this left leg. Again, we're gonna lift that knee up, lift it out to the side, about hip height, and 10 little circles going forward. For five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse it. For four, three, two, and one, keep it up if you can. Bring it out to a 90 degree bend behind us here, and we're gonna extend and then extend. For five, four, three, two, and one. Leave it up here. See if you can lift it about an inch higher and 10 little pulses up. For five, four, three, two, one, and circle it over to the right. For three, two, and one, and reverse. So close to another stretch here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that knee down. Again, widen out your knees to the width of the mat and sink back into a child's pose. Sit back on your heels. Reach your arms out long for an additional little stretch in your shoulders. And just take a few breaths here. Okay, once you're ready, we have a little bit of plank work and then we, we will be back to being on our backs. So, once you're ready, meet me in a high plank. So, again, just as before, you want to keep your wrists directly beneath your shoulders. You want to feel a straight line from your shoulders down to your toes. You don't want to lift that your hips too high up in the air or too low. You really want to tighten your core here. Feel that engagement. Once you're comfortable here, we're gonna start off and we're just gonna lift that right leg and we're gonna tap it over to the right, bring it back in and tap the left one over out to the side and back to center. And just alternating here. Keep breathing here. For two. And one. Next thing we're gonna lower down onto our right knee. So take a second, lower that right knee down, take a breath, kind of put all your weight in that knee. Take it off your wrists a little bit. Left foot is still back long and straight here. So our left leg is gonna stay straight. Right knee is gonna come down to the mat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift that right knee up and try to reach our right knee to our nose as we pike our hips up and lower it down. So we're only gonna do five of these in this, this direction. So lift it up 
and lower for four and lower three two and one lower it down take a breath this time we're going to lift it up and we're going to cross it underneath toward the left side so again if you're working your right leg we're gonna lift it up and cross it over to the left, feeling that nice twist in our oblique, and lower it down. So four more like that, and lower, three, two, and one. Lower it down, you can lower both knees down, because we're gonna switch it out. So take a breath here if you need to. Extend that right leg out long behind us. Left knee is down this time. If you need to roll out your wrist a little bit. Same here as before. Make sure you get your grip on that right foot. We are going to lift that left knee up. Aim it toward our nose and lower it down. And lift and lower. For three. Two, and one, lower it down. This time we're gonna lift and cross it underneath toward the right side, and lower. And twist, and lower. For three, two, and one, lower it down, lower both knees down. Sit back, shake it out. Roll out your wrists a little bit, roll your shoulders back, whatever feels good right now. And feel free to get a sip of water. Take a few breaths before we move on. We're gonna come back to a seated position here. All right, once you're ready, we're actually gonna start off lying on our backs here. Um, and we're gonna start off with a stretch, which will be very nice. Um, so if you've taken my class before, you've probably done the uh, sit up to stretch forward. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a slow and controlled roll up to a seated position. So our arms are gonna come overhead and we're gonna guide our breathing through this. So we're gonna bring our arms over to our hips. As we lift up our head and shoulders, we're gonna take a big exhale as we peel it up, sit tall in a seated position here. Take a nice uh, inhale here, and then big exhale as we reach forward toward our toes. And really try and get that nice reach in here. And we'll do two more of these. So if you come, come back to seated, tuck your tailbone underneath slowly with control, roll all the way down. And yeah, we'll just do two more here. So bring those arms overhead. Take a nice inhale here. Lift it up, chin comes to chest, shoulders come up. Big exhale as we slowly peel it up to a seated position. Come, sit tall, stack your spine, inhale here, and big exhale to reach forward. Really feel that nice stretch on the backs of your legs here. Lower it down. And one more, so come back to seated, tuck that tailbone under, slowly roll it down. Inhale as we bring our arms overhead toward our hip. Head and shoulders come up, chin to chest. Big exhale as we slowly roll it up. Come to seated, stack that spine, inhale. And big exhale to reach forward. This is such a nice stretch for mid-workout. Nice to come back to your breathing here. Take one more big exhale into this stretch. See if you can reach a little bit further forward. And roll it back up to seated here. So we're gonna stay seated. 
We're gonna bring our feet up, knees are gonna be bent here, and we're gonna move into um, a rolling like a ball move. So knees are bent, feet are flat down on the mat. You're gonna put your hands just for support on the outside of your shins here. So take a breath here. See if you can lift your feet up off the mat and balance here on your sits bones. So you wanna really pull your core in, pull your abdominals back, it almost feels like and see if you can catch your balance here. And then what we're gonna do is a little roll back just to our shoulder blades and then lift it right back up. See if you can come up to your sits bones here while leaving your feet up. If you need to rest them down for a second, lift them right back up, feel free to do so. But um, the point is to get ourselves down and up using just our core strength. So you don't wanna roll too far back and you don't wanna roll up with too much momentum. It's very slow and very controlled here. So on your own pace, we'll roll back just to about our shoulder blades. Lift it back up. Lift your chest once you're back at seated. Catch your balance again and roll it back. And lift it up. And we'll just do a few of these. If you wanna advance it a little bit, you can reach down, grab your ankles, and extend those legs out straight into a V here. Point your toes, and lower it back down. But I'm not very flexible early in the morning, so I'm just gonna do it like this. <laughs> and we'll do about three more here. And one, catch your balance here and lower both feet down. Uh, next thing here, we're gonna lower it all the way down. We're gonna leave our head down for this next move. Um, similar to early on, like we did in the warm up, we're gonna leave that left leg long and straight here. Right leg is gonna come straight up to the ceiling and we're gonna again get that nice external rotation that we did earlier on. Um, so leg as straight as you can get it, externally rotate it, and we're just gonna go tiny circles here going to the right. Nothing big, just a little circle. Moving from that hip, nothing else is moving. For five, four, three, two, one, and reverse it. Keep that rotation for four, three, two, and one. Leave it here. Everything else stays where it is. We're going to bring that knee into our chest and extend it out long to 45 degrees. In and extend for eight. For three, two, and one, and lower that right leg down, and moving over to the left one, extend it up to the ceiling as straight as you can get it here, externally rotate out to the left, and tiny little circles starting off going towards the right. Keep that lower back down again. for four, three, two, and one, and reverse it. You are somebody that I don't know, but you're taking shots at me like it's for five, four, three, two, and one, leaving it where it is, straighten it out, bring that knee in toward our chest, and extend it out to 45 degrees. In and extend. For four, three, two, and one, and lower it down. 
Next thing we're gonna do here is a slow bicycle crunch. Um, so we are gonna lift our head and shoulders up off here. Right knee is gonna come into our chest. Left leg is gonna come straight out to 45 degrees. Hands are gonna come behind our head and we're gonna twist to the right towards that knee and then switch it out, twist toward the left. And switch nice and slow here. Switch and switch. You really wanna aim that shoulder or underarm toward your knee. So really feel that nice lift. For three, and switch, two, and one. Hold this last one on the right here. Hold on this side and little lift with the shoulders up. Tiny little pulses up. For five, four, three, two, and one. And switch over to the left and little pulses crunching up here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet down, keep your knees bent. Lower your head down here. Take a breath. Next thing we're gonna do, uh, knees are gonna stay bent. We're gonna lift our head back up again. And we're gonna have our arms flipped up, palms up at our sides. We're just gonna reach over, so we're gonna be Lifted from our shoulders. We're gonna rotate each side, reaching our pinky toward our ankle. So reach to that right pinky toward that right ankle and then switch it over to the right side. So we're really getting that nice little crunch in here on our obliques, reaching to each side. You wanna keep it lifted. For three, two, and one. And bring our knees in toward our chest, lower your head down. Pull those knees in, take a nice breath. We have a few more things here before we move into our final series. So take a nice breath here. The next thing we're gonna do, if you can, we're gonna keep our head and shoulders lifted. Hands are gonna come behind our head. You can kind of rest your head into your hands here, clasp together. Knees are gonna come together. All, so we're gonna bring our knees up into tabletop. Press your knees and your toes together here. We're gonna bring our knees in and while keeping our legs glued together, we're gonna extend them out straight. Bring knees in and extend them out up. And knees in, straight, keeping that lower back down the whole time. See if you can lift your shoulders a little bit higher. Extend, and extend up. For three, Two, and one, leave them up straight here. You can bring that right hand down. Left hand is gonna come up. Legs are straight and glued together here. We're gonna take that left hand and reach toward the right side. Reach it up, get a nice little crunch as you reach. This is the last thing we have here. For six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Lower that left hand down, reach the right hand up, and reach it over to the left side. Reach. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees into your chest. Pull them in, lower your head down. Take a big deep inhale and exhale.
just a few things left until the end of class here. So once you're ready, we're going to come onto our side. Um, so meet me on your right hip. We're going to come onto our right side here. Um, as always, there's a few different options for where you want to put your arm here. Um, your right, right arm, this will be, you can have your elbow down. You can rest your head down low, um, or you can rest your head in your hand. I feel best here, but totally up to preference. Um, so right hip is down, legs are out straight to the end of the mat here in the center. We're going to lift that top leg up and we're just going to start with little circles going forward. Pull your core in here. Keep everything totally stable except this leg for five, four, three, two, and one and reverse. for three, two, one. We're gonna lower it down, press those heels together. So you have, again, a little external rotation here. We're gonna press those heels and lift it up. Lower and lift. Keeping that again, rotation in the top leg. Your foot's a little bit flexed. For four, Three, two, and one. Leaving it up here. Point the toe now. We're gonna bring it in for a little bend and extend. Bend and extend. So not all the way in, just about halfway. For four, three, two, and one, and leave it up here, and little pulses up for 10. For five, four, three, two, and one, lower that top leg down. Next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the top leg again, and we're gonna cross it over in front, so that left foot is coming flat down in front of us, take the right leg and we're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Not a huge range of motion here, but we're really working that inside part of the leg. For five, four, three, two, and one, hold it up here and just hold here as high as you can get it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. And we're just gonna flip it over onto our left side. And quickly finish out the left. Same as before, we're gonna lift that right leg up, keep it lifted here, and little circles going forward. For three, two, and one, and reverse. For three, two, one, lower it down. We're going to tap those uh, heels together. So we have another little rotation here and we're going to lift it up and lower. Lift and lower. Foot is flexed here. Sorry about that. For four, three, two, and one, lower it down. We're gonna lift it up again, point that toe, bring it in, knee comes bent, and extend it out long. In and extend. For six, five, four, three, two, 
and one and tiny pulses one inch up for a ten for five four three two and one lower it all the way down and we're gonna lift that leg up place it down in front of us cross it over this should feel a nice stretch over here too um, which is always a little bit of a bonus for this move take that left leg and lift and lower lift and lower For five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here and we'll hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Extend the right one out, shake out whatever you need to, and we are going to finish up. We have a few minutes left, um, so we're going to finish with some teasers, as usual. <laughs> so if you have not done these before, there's a few different options you can do. Um, you can have your legs out to 45 degrees. You can have them bent again or straight up, or you can leave one uh, foot down on the mat and bent and have the other one extended, whereas you'll switch out. Uh, in between. So we'll do four of them as usual. Whatever you choose to do with your legs, you're going to keep them until we're done with this move completely. You're going to keep them in that position. So similar to the roll up that we did before, except our legs are lifted here. We're going to reach our arms out long behind us. We're going to inhale as we bring our arms out toward our hips and lift our chin to chest, lift our shoulders up. And we're going to take a big exhale as we sit it up, reach toward those feet, pause at the top, lift your chest up, take a breath, catch your balance, and slowly, with control, lower it all the way down, keeping those legs where they are. Reach your arms back overhead. We'll just do three more. Arms come back toward our hips. Inhale here, big exhale to lift it up. Sit tall, bouncing on our sit bones, reach toward those toes, lift your chest up, and slowly lower it all the way down, reach those arms back overhead. If you have one leg down and the other one up, switch them out so that the other leg is now up to 45 degrees. Two more, arms reach over toward our hips, chin comes to chest, shoulders come up, big exhale, sit it up tall, reach up toward those toes. Lift your chest, take a breath, and slowly roll it down. Reach it back along, and one more. Arm comes around, big exhale to sit tall. Reach your arms up here, take a breath. Lift your chest up, and slowly lower everything down. Melt it all down into the mat. Take a nice deep breath. And just take a second here. In whichever position feels most relaxed, most comfortable to you. And after a few breaths, we'll move into stretching. For right now, just take a minute feel accomplished. It's over. <laughs> Get a sip of water if you need to. Otherwise, once you're ready, again, we're going to bring our knees into our chest. One last stretch like this. Pull them in and roll it around if you need to. We're going to extend that right leg out long, keeping the left knee into our chest, and we're going to cross that knee over to the right, over that leg, and reach out towards the left. And 
and back to center. Extend that left leg long, bring that right knee in, pull it in, and cross it over toward the left side, reach out to the right. and bring it in. We're gonna roll up to a seated position here. Uh, nice and simple, we're just gonna separate our legs out into a V here. And sink down, reach toward those right toes. Really take a nice deep breath into it. Big exhale, see if you can reach a little bit further. And we'll bring it into the center. Reach down. See how close you can get to. Elbows down on the mat here. I cannot do it. <laughs> but just really feel this nice stretch in between your legs here. And take it over to the left. Reach toward those left toes. And we'll bring our knees together, cross them behind us. So bring both knees together over to the right and reach that arm overhead toward the right side, feeling that nice oblique stretch here. Lower that arm down, elbow down on the mat, and reach it over it on the opposite side. Swing our legs around. And reach. Definitely take as much time stretching this morning as you need to. And extend it over onto the opposite side. If you've taken my class a few times, I'm sure I sound like a broken record, um, but make sure you hydrate and refuel with a nice breakfast after. Um, this is a lot of work for 7.30 in the morning. An hour of Pilates is a lot. Um, and you're definitely working, really getting into those muscles. So make sure to refuel and rebuild throughout the rest of the day so that we can get stronger for next week. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions, um, feel free to send me an email. I'm gonna write my email address in the chat right now. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or just requests for next time, um, if anything didn't feel great and you wanna know about another modification, um, definitely let me know. I'm happy to help. 